All right, let's talk about what to expect because now that we're done with Snow Day 2021, or are we? Let's take a look here. Dry air has moved in. It's going to be brisk and cold out there for the rest of the day. You will need to bundle up if you're going to head outside. You'll feel it. Cold and dry Friday and Saturday. Rain is back on Sunday, but uh-oh, could start as a mix in the morning. Here's our first attempt to look at a future cast that far out. You know things change, but uh, the model's trying to show maybe some snow mixed with some sleet uh, from the triangle northward. There's Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, and that'll be around. And by the time we get to noon, it should change over to rain. So here's my advice. If we're going to see some snow, and there is a chance, you know, this is the way too early accumulation map for you on Sunday. Hey, didn't we just finish a snowstorm? <laughs> well, here's what we've got Sunday morning, maybe very light amounts of snow. Any of this will get washed away by the rain that's going to occur. So Sunday's an interesting thing because we might start out with some snow in the morning but if you just hunker down it's all going to be rain and it's not going to be a nice day to go out even with rain it's only going to be in the low 40s with widespread rain in the afternoon and early evening hours but i just thought i'd toss a little bone to you to talk about with your friends on sunday morning we'll keep an eye on that northwest winds at 10 skies are partly cloudy 36 degrees visibility 10 miles Temperatures, oh, it's cold, 32 in Roxborough where they had four inches of snow. We showed you the snow map earlier in the newscast. It was cool to see all the heavy snow up along the Virginia border counties and back through Rocky Mount. No snow on the ground in Fayetteville, 40 degrees and 40 degrees in Southern Pines. When you factor in the wind, oh, feels like it's 21 in Roxborough right now. Uh, feels like 27 in Sanford. Feels like the 20s in the Triangle and out in Rocky Mount. So that's what I'm talking about. Need to bundle up. The visible satellite picture picking up some partly cloudy skies. But as we zoom in, where you don't, you can kind of see the clouds over the white. The white that's not moving, that's the snow cover on the ground. This is hard to see. I wish it was a clear picture, but uh, I mean, I wish there were no clouds out there because then you'd see. But you can kind of tell here in Nash County and Halifax County, that's clear skies because I can kind of see the rivers there showing up nicely. Otherwise, we've got those. There's even a closer view for you <laughs> right there. You can see the rivers. All right, we've got those partly sunny skies. We're going to get more sun later in the afternoon. So rays of sunshine today, I'm holding at a... Seven. Yeah, seven. So partly sunny to mostly sunny to sunny right before the clouds go down at 5. Or clouds go down. The sun goes down at 538. Clouds are going to go away, too. It's going to be clear tonight. Temperatures are going to quickly drop. We'll be below freezing after 7 o'clock tonight as this high pressure system builds in. The winds will be still 5, 8 miles per hour tonight, and we'll still have a 5 to 10 mile per hour wind tomorrow, but not as strong. But it is going to be cold. Temperatures just in the low 40s. And then this high will float over us. Another cold night, but it'll be very light winds Saturday night into Sunday morning. I mean, excuse me, Friday night into Saturday morning. Morning. And then Saturday, mostly sunny with the clouds increasing in advance of that weather maker that we already showed you for Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. So clearing and brisk this afternoon, 40, 42 tomorrow, 43 on Saturday. Rain is likely, but we showed you it could start. There's a little mixed snow sleet combo play. But if we get any of that, once again, the rain will take over in the afternoon. Maybe a shower Sunday night into Monday. Temperatures above freezing, but cold. Groundhog Day. Hello. One of my favorite movies, Groundhog Day. I don't know if folks have ever seen that, but partly cloudy skies and 46. Wednesday is going to be sunny and 50, and then we're going to see temperatures reach 60 on Friday. Uh, a shower will be possible Friday into Saturday of next week, so that'll feel quite mild for you right there, Liz.